Hey y'all, I'm back. Yes, this is like my third video today. All right, so I'm on a roll. We're gonna keep it on the roll, okay? We're gonna keep it coming, keep it going. There's a collective that needs their messages, so we're gonna do it now. We're gonna do it in in my feelings, okay? So let's see who's in their feelings, what they in their feelings about, and we're gonna take it from there. All right, so give me a message for the collective. Who's in their feelings? I mean, don't I just hate when people always just like in their feelings all the time? Like, what you mad about now? What you upset about now? Like, what is it? <laughs> it is always in their feelings. Like, what? Okay. Let's see. Give me a message for the collective. Who's in their feelings and why are they in their feelings? Like, why? <sighs> Mm, somebody real nervous okay somebody is extremely nervous because they feel like they're being played okay they this person can't get you off their mind okay we got clear head clear headed so they're trying to clear you out of their energy but this is you queen divine feminine okay so this is about a divine feminine okay somebody is extremely tense somebody is like really really uptight because they feel like it's a lot of playing going on okay somebody real tense like somebody nervous and then when i said nervous <laughs> somebody is like real nervous okay you make this person extremely nervous You make this person extremely nervous. Like, this person is trying to clear you from their energy. Anxiety. Yes. Like, this person feels like maybe you're getting a victory. Okay? Because you're possibly on a spiritual journey. Okay? You're moving ahead. You're progressing. And this makes this person nervous. Like, they have a real big anxiety. Like, big, big anxiety. Big, big, big anxiety. Oh, their attachment. Okay, so there's an attachment here. This person is extremely attached to you. Okay? This could be someone in your family or someone you have a family with. Okay? You were this person's happy place. Um, maybe they feel like you're getting away. But there is an attachment here. So someone's afraid that they're losing you. Or they're going to lose you. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> this person sees you over here amused and happy. This is why they are nervous. They see you being too happy. Smiling and cheesing. All on the ground. All on the book. Smiling and happy. Now they nervous. Now they want to fight. <laughs> Okay, they like who? King, domesticated. They want to know who is making you smile. Who got this smile on your face like that? Who you who you laid up with? Who you in the house with? Okay? Because look, I'll come fight their ass right now. <laughs> they don't know. Like, they're, they are indecisive. We got indecision. They're trying to figure out. They are trying to figure out why you are so freaking happy. And it's not because of them. So they're trying to figure out why you're so happy. Give me one more card. Guilty. Mm, they're guilty about something. And now they're worried that you are in a happy place without them and not because of them. Okay? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. They're mad at you. Look at this. Upset. <laughs> Upset at the queen, at the divine feminine. They are mad at you. They flipping you off. Like, how you going to go be happy? How you going to be happy without me? You know I'm attached to you. You know how I feel about you. And you want here playing me, but there's something that they're guilty about. Yeah, let's find out what it is that they're guilty about. 
How you gonna be guilty about something and mad because somebody done moved on and they happy? Go find your happy. Some people don't like to see you happy. Especially if the, the happiness didn't come from, from them. But see, when you learn and, and, and grow, that happiness is supposed to come from you anyway. I don't feel like people should give an assignment of being happy to someone else. The happiness should come from within you. Okay, I want to know what this person is guilty about. They're guilty about some type of ending, okay? Could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Scorpio. They're guilty about how a situation ended. It didn't end peacefully. It didn't end peacefully between you and this person. So this is an ex, somebody that you dealt with or somebody that you had dealings with doesn't necessarily have to be a lover but things did not end peacefully okay it didn't end peacefully and they're guilty about it yeah this person they what they did was they could have possibly put you on hold um they walked away from you yeah they got the hell out of dodge okay turned their back on you all right like yeah they made some changes they made some changes and now they're feeling guilty about it because they didn't end the situation with you peacefully. The situation did not end peacefully. It could have got out of hand, could have got carried away, could have been a lot going on. They want to communicate with you. Maybe you aren't in communication with this person. They want to communicate with you though. You got the page of cups and the nine of cups. They want to communicate with you. Maybe they want to apologize about the way that things ended. Maybe they want to get that off their chest. We got the strength card. They could be dealing with a Leo or your person could be a Leo. Um, maybe they're trying to find the courage to reach out to you, but they're watching you. They're not saying anything. They're, they're watching you, though. They're surprised. They're surprised by what they see. Look at this. This person may be smiling on the outside, but this is how they feel on the inside. Insecure, regretful, guilty. This is guilty energy. This is guilty energy. Now, they're sitting here spying on you. They're sitting over here spying on you, but they don't feel too good about themselves. They don't feel too good about themselves. They don't feel too good about the way things ended between you two. But at the same time, it's like you don't even care. You're like, ah, ka, 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 ka. Ah, ka, 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 ka. oh, I'm so happy. Look at me. Take pictures. Woo, woo. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so cute. You see me? Yep, you see it. And they over here like, damn. Why is fight here? Who want to fight? Okay, we got the Ten of Swords. There was a betrayal and there definitely was an ending. Could have been with a Capricorn here. But it's like the situation was toxic. Somebody's trying to avoid. Um, somebody's trying to avoid. They were trying to avoid possibly a fight breaking out. Could be definitely be a King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, somebody has some options here. So maybe they were trying to avoid a fight, a disagreement, or things getting too out of hand. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. Yeah, okay. So a final decision was made with the judgment and the Ten of Swords to end the situation. Okay, we got the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands, a third party, could have been involved. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, somebody fought to be together. Somebody put up a real deal fight. I'm getting third party energy, especially with the Three of Cups there. Um... But I'm definitely getting like a final decision was made to end, end the situation. Possibly more than likely you guys split and went separate ways. I feel like they feel guilty because they don't feel like it ended peacefully or they didn't end it the right way. But this person is damn sure spying for sure.
What is this person so nervous about? Yeah, they're nervous of confrontation. They feel like the situation is very confrontational. They feel like the situation is confrontational, but is, is it confrontational because they made it that way? Now they feel guilty of the mess that they made? Why is the Five of Wands here? Ace of Cups. Yeah. It's going to start an argument. They're nervous about something, an argument being started. Here's that devil. Here's that devil. Somebody got some real toxic ways. Sex. It's involving a lot of sex, okay? Somebody's keeping secrets. Why is the devil here? The queen of wands. Ooh. Definitely third party energy. Five of Pentacles. Something definitely don't go together, but or it doesn't look right together or something to that nature. <clears throat> but I'm getting somebody got played. There's a third party involved. I see that that they're really tense about. They were afraid that it was gonna cause conflict, so somebody had to get cut off. And at the same time, there's a lot of spying going on. They're spying on you to see if to see if you're being sneaky. Why would they why are they spying on you to see if you're being sneaky when they're being the ones being sneaky? Tell me why they're so tense. The King of Wands. Could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah, there's a lot of playful energy here. I think this person feels like a fool. They knew that they had to make a decision. All right, now now they have anxiety. Like, I'm just getting like, this person is just... Maybe they smoke. They need to burn some sage or some Palo Santo for sure. I feel like this person does a lot of things for attention as well, too. But there's an attachment here. Why is, tell me more. King of Swords. They are trying to cut their attachment off. They have an attachment to you. And they are forcing themselves to detach. Could be a Capricorn with this Knight of Pentacles. The Magician. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, to try to make it seem like it's a missed opportunity, okay? This person feels like if they give it some time, then things will die down, okay? So this person, they're trying to detach from you. And this is giving this person, this is, it's hard as hell for this person to detach from you, okay? But they feel like if they give the situation some time, it'll die down, okay? Then they can reach out to you. um, And, and then you guys can communicate about what happened. But... They're spying because this is your energy. Or this is them trying to pretend like they're happy. Let's see, amused and happy. Oh, four of pentacles that jumped out. Eight of wands. No, somebody is talking about their other options. Okay, like other options don't necessarily mean people. It's just a lot of other things to do, being occupied. Um, somebody here is definitely tired of the past. I feel like this is you guys' energy. Like y'all are smiling while this person is over here feeling guilty. This person over here is feeling guilty. And it didn't end peacefully because I feel like they walked away from you for someone 
else. So it just didn't end well. And it was going to cause confrontation. So this is what they're feeling guilty about. They are trying to detach themselves from you. Like I said previously, they're trying to detach themselves from you. And I feel like it's hard as hell for them to do that. Especially since you're out here smiling and being happy. It's like, I don't feel like this person really gets like, we broke up. What, is they, what are they so happy about? Tell me more. Why is this person in their feelings? Love struck. This person is love struck. Yeah. And I also get too. Like this person mass. This person really is depressed. And they use sex to clear their head. I feel like this person reminisces about you. Possibly sexually. They're trying to clear their head of that. And it could make them really depressed. I feel like this person is still stuck on you. I just feel like, I just feel it. They're still attached. And I feel like they're trying to cut that attachment. But this person is like love struck over you. World travel. So maybe they've been doing some traveling. To try to find some balance. Like to clear their head. I keep getting like this person trying to clear their head. We got king. And appreciation. I hate this says I hate nothing about you. I hate nothing about you. And I tell you, this person is stalking you, and there's some gossiping going on too. There's some gossiping going on. This person appreciates your energy. However, I feel like this this person gossips about you to other people and they stalk you. They watch you. They watch your every move on social media. I feel like this person is coming towards you. Um, because they're gonna get tired of the lifestyle that they're living and tired of having this guilty energy on them. All right. We got home. Home life could be stressful where they are. Maybe they feel lonely. Maybe they want to be around you to you know, get your good kisses and love and energy. But their ego is too big. Their ego is too big. And this person really is emotional. But they hiding it behind the ego. Okay. I feel like they're bored with the situation that they're in now because they're busy reminiscing about laying in a bed with you. <laughs> they're too busy thinking about laying in a bed with you. Okay. So they try to clear their head. But I really feel like this person really is having a hard time clearing their head. Okay. They're having a hard time doing it. It's not as easy as they thought it was going to be. Because what? They still love struck on you. Damn. All right. So that's the message that I got, guys. If this message resonated with you, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below. As well as if you're new, click the bell to subscribe. All right. Till next time, y'all. Ciao.